for a while, workplace was all, you know, graffiti artists and, and pool tables, and that just doesn't, that just doesn't do it anymore. This workforce wants to go to work and feel like they belong to something larger than themselves, that they're doing something that matters. And if we can remind them in any touch point that we design that they are showing up to a place that matters and what they're doing in conjunction to it matters, that's pretty powerful. We're an interdisciplinary design studios. We work with startups all the way up to the very well-established companies like Google and Adobe and GE. We're built on the foundation of an architecture and interior design studio, but about seven years ago realized that our clients were asking questions that weren't answered solely by architects. So started to gather up what I call the island of misfit designers, you know, a mix of brand strategists, interior designers, architects, graphic designers, industrial designers. How do you weave together a cloth from all of those disciplines that tells a much more meaningful and compelling story. Startups are interesting because they have the passion. They're as connected as anyone to why they want to do something. They're figuring out how and what, but they know why. Companies, as they get mature, start to rely on the how they do it and what they're doing, but sometimes lose the why they're doing it, why they matter to their customer, why anyone would show up to work and be excited about doing that day after day. People used to talk about work-life balance and that meant, you know, at five o'clock you packed up and you went home to the family and at eight o'clock the next morning you were off to work again. Today it really means that you get to live your life to the fullest and that your work is part of that life. How do you design a space where people can find their place to do their best work and still come together and connect. So the answer to that is you offer them lots of choice in the workplace. Uh, you give them a sofa to curl up on with a laptop just as if they're home to work on for a while or a desk or places for people to come together. The biggest mistake people make, they design through items and they don't dig deeply enough to try to define the space in a way that's unique and meaningful to their inhabitants. We call it designing by Pinterest board. You know, you put together a couple of images, this is what we like, so you just take that piece from that one and that piece from that one, and there's no real innovation happening in how space is made and how people interact in that space. When you can gather the information of who that company is and what makes them tick, what makes them matter to the world, you come away with a real understanding of who they are, and, and so the design that you put forth is that much more meaningful, that much more connected.